Today, we're gonna get started with step number one, how to set up your vMix to record your camera and your computer screen so that you can sit down and film a ton of videos to grow your YouTube channel. Let's get started, I'm Owen Video. Owen Video! The first time you open up vMix and every time you open up vMix, you'll see this screen. This black box on the right tells you what's on your screen or what's recording now. This black box on the left will tell you what's coming up next. These commands in the middle are your transitions. I never use these. Your audio master is down here and this will be important later on. The assets that you want to record or live stream are called inputs and those are added right here. They're automatically labeled as one, two, three, four, five, and so forth. And I'll be showing you how to add these and customize these throughout the series. Now with vMix, you can save individual projects and open them as you need them. Kind of like a PowerPoint. For example, I have a project that I've created and customized for live streaming, and I call that vMix for Restream. But I've also got a project that I use specifically for recording videos directly onto YouTube. And I call that vMix for Multicorder, my pre-record project. So as we customize this project, we can save it and access it for later. And these buttons down here, the Multicorder, the Stream, the External, the Record, and the Add Input buttons are going to be some of the most important buttons that you should be familiar with when it comes to learning vMix. The first thing you're gonna do is come over here and click New, and you're gonna select your preset. Now, I'm gonna choose HD 1080 29.97. This is 1080, and it means 30 frames per second. What I want you to know about this setting is this is easy, tried, and true. If you wanna get crazy and, and start downloading 4K files, that's okay, vMix can do that, but you're gonna get these massive files. It's gonna take your editor longer to download them, longer to edit them, longer to process them, and your audience really isn't gonna see a huge difference unless they're on a giant 4K screen. So for YouTube, let's keep it at 1080 by 30, and then for live streaming, we can talk about 2160. We'll talk about this in another video. I'm gonna select my preset and click OK. And now what I'm gonna do is set up my first input. Right now, vMix gives me these two blank inputs. But I'm gonna hover down to the lower left-hand corner and click Add Input. Then I'm gonna click on More. Now I'm gonna click on Camera, and I'm gonna set up my first camera. So I'll click this drop-down box here. I'll select the camera I want. You'll notice that my resolution is correct. The camera is audio enabled, but we'll come back to your audio in just a moment, and I'm gonna click OK. If I did it correctly, you'll see that I've got the camera now appearing here. You'll see my audio is in green, and you'll see that the green audio button is clicked. I'm gonna click it again to turn off the audio, and you'll see the audio goes to a light blue. If your audio is light blue, it means it's not turned on, Come back to audio, make it green, and you're good to go. Now let's set up your computer screen so that you have the option to record your screen as well. So now we're gonna set up a screen share so that you can film tutorials, PowerPoint presentations, or whatever else you want. So we're gonna come back under Add Input and we're gonna click More. We're gonna come to NDI Desktop Capture and hover to Local Desktop Capture. This will give you the option of choosing a display screen, but I can also pick an application browser depending on what my goals are. For today's purposes, I'm gonna capture display two and click okay. And now you can see that I'm recording my entire screen and I can record multiple web browsers like my website, I've got my Instagram page here. And by the way, you can scan the QR code in the middle if you want to follow me on Instagram. So now that you've got your camera and your screen share all set up, you can use the cut button inside of vMix here 
to switch back and forth between the two frames. Now that you've got your camera and your screen share all set up in vMix, you're ready to start recording. You can also record multiple cameras and multiple screens using the multi-quarter feature, which I will cover in another video so you can click up here to watch it. And if the video is not there yet, we haven't made it. So be sure to subscribe to the channel. But before you're ready to start recording videos, we need to pay attention to the sound. Notice how when we're on input one, the green audio bars here are telling us that vMix is recording the audio. But when I switch to the screen share, the green bars go away. So we need to dial in our audio mixer settings so that whenever I'm recording the screen share, you're also getting the camera's audio. To do that, let's switch over to the audio mixer here. But before we do that, we're gonna save our project because if vMix shuts down or you X out, none of your work will be saved. So we'll hover over to the save button. You'll pick the folder you wanna save the file in and I'm gonna call this one vMix YouTube One. I'll click save. And now I'm gonna come over to my audio mixer and I'm gonna unpin it so that it appears as a secondary box on top of vMix. This green box on the left is my master and I want this to be green all the time because that means no matter what camera I'm on, the audio is always recording. This is a look at my audio from my camera input. Notice I have some buttons here on the side and notice that the audio is in blue. So I'm gonna click the speaker button, which gives me green bars on both tracks. So I'll X out of the audio mixer. And when I come back to vMix, I can see that my green bars appear with the screen capture footage. So now I'm ready to create my recording settings. To do that, let's hover down to the bottom of the screen where it says record. This is where you're gonna dial in your settings for easy one touch recording. But let me really quickly explain these other buttons too. The external will send what's ever in the main camera here out to your computer as your main webcam. So this is where you can do some really cool stuff with like your Zoom camera and some other fun things. Stream is how you live stream and multi-quarter is how you record multiple inputs all at one time, regardless of what is in this window here. But today we're gonna start with the record feature, which gives you two different options. You can record only what appears in this main window here, or you can record your camera and your webcam both at the same time simultaneously let's walk through how to do that first thing we're going to do is click on the crank button to configure our recording settings notice that you have option one for input one recording and option two for two input recording the first thing that we want to do is set up our output number one which we want to see in this box here and then you're going to determine where you want these files to go where are they downloading to I download them directly to a Dropbox folder that's on my computer. And then you can give all of these files a name. So I'm gonna call this vMix for YouTube input one and click save. Make sure that your audio is connected to the master and then click okay. Now when I press the record button, I'll record everything that appears in this window here. Let's give it a test. Hey Ryan, can you jump on frame to help us out? So three, two, one, and we're recording. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Say it again. Testing, testing, one, two, three. And now I'll stop the recording. I'll go into my folder where I just recorded that one input, and you'll notice that a logs folder has arrived. Just leave that there, there's no way to get rid of it. And let's take a look at what I just recorded. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Great, and it worked beautifully. Now I'm gonna delete this for the sake of clarity on this tutorial, and I'm gonna show you how to set up both of these inputs for simultaneous recording, which means it will record this window with audio and this window with audio, so you won't need to cut between frames. However, by doing this, you are creating two separate files, which could add a little bit of extra work onto the back end. So what I'm showing you is a bonus feature, not necessarily a requirement. To do that, we're gonna come over to the external tab now and click on these settings. We're gonna hover up to output two 
and make sure that output two is connected to input two. This area is your input, the green, the orange, and as you add more inputs, they'll all get numbers and colors assigned to them. Your outputs are what vMix will record. So we're gonna make sure that output two is set up to input two, and now we're gonna come back over to the record button and click the settings tab. We're gonna click on output two. We're gonna click enabled. We're gonna make sure that this window is set to output two, and then you're gonna set the folder it records to to the same folder. In this case, we're gonna call it vMix for YouTube two. We'll click on save, click on okay. So now I'm gonna click the record button and we're recording, give me like, um, you know, just some talking a sentence or two and we're recording now. Welcome back to the channel, I'm Ryan, and this is not my home. This, that actually makes me a little sad. We're gonna stop the recording button. We're gonna click yes. We'll go back into our folder and notice that now we have two new files, vMix for YouTube 2, vMix for YouTube input 1. So I named them a little bit differently, but let's click on these to make sure we got what we asked for. This is input 1, which should be all Ryan. Welcome back to the channel, I'm Ryan, and this is not my home. Perfect, this should be input two, which should be all the screen share, but you'll still hear the same audio. Welcome back to the channel, I'm Ryan, and this is not my home. So before we exit out of vMix, what we're gonna do is click save one last time. We're gonna click vMix for YouTube one and click save again, and we're gonna click yes, I wanna replace it. And we've just set up our vMix for recording, now for the sake of argument, let's X out of vMix. I'm gonna close it. You're gonna see my computer screen now and I'm gonna reopen vMix. It's again gonna open up to this blank page. I'm gonna click open. I'm gonna click vMix for YouTube one. It's loading my preset. And here I am all ready to go to film my videos for YouTube. I hope that you found this training video helpful. We tried to make it clear and concise and to the point. And when I was getting started with vMix, there really weren't a lot of training videos that helped me get started. That's why I created an entire playlist of videos on how to use vMix to customize it for your YouTube, for your live streaming, to be more productive. And you can dig into those videos by tapping on your screen now. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Owen Video and I'll see you in the next one.